there's a saying that people have that you're a product of the people you surround yourself with. And I've been lucky to be surrounded by some very special people. And of course, I think everybody in this room would know that being surrounded by wrestlers couldn't be a better thing. I want to thank the committee and board for putting on this special event. It's quite an honor to be inducted with these people this evening. I want to especially thank Armand Brett and Keith Rollins because I know they had uh, direct influence in my nomination. I want to thank my wife and family. My daughter Emily drove all the way out, or flew all the way out from St. Louis, Missouri this morning. We picked her up. And she's actually one of the pioneer wrestlers, uh, women wrestlers from the North State. Um, we had to drive her all over the state in order to get her competition. And in fact, several places in the nation to get her competition. She got a scholarship to Missouri Valley, went on, was an All-American, uh, got her master's degree at Lindenwood, and just a, an example of the way women's wrestling has gone on. My son Nathan is also here tonight. Um, he was also an accomplished wrestler, but I knew his, his true love was football. I want to thank my wife. We all know that uh, wrestling takes a lot of time and a lot of commitment. It's not just a three month a year coaching job. Um, so my wife has put up a lot of, a lot of time me being gone and I definitely appreciate that. I don't know how many times over the last oh, seven, eight years I told her, this is probably gonna be my last year. <laughs> And I, I think a lot of people out here would know exactly what I'm talking about. And then there you are back the next year doing it. I have a couple good friends here tonight, Dan Cordova and Roy Rios, people I wrestled with at Chico State. Uh, <laughs> Dan was my workout partner at Moorpark College. Um, you know, those are friends that are your lifelong friends. You know, I'll, I'll be close to those guys the rest of my life. We have a bunch of wrestlers and coaches from Orland High School here tonight. Uh, that's, that's, again, it's uh, amazing the group of people uh, and what they've done, what, how they've grown. Victor Perry, presenting my award tonight, is one of the great examples of what wrestling can do. Victor, as a senior, placed third in the state. He lost his first match and then came back and won eight consecutive matches and to take third place. <laughs> Went on, wrestled in college, became an All-American, came back, got a teaching job at Orland High School, and then he started to climb the administrative ladder. Started as our vice principal, then our principal, then our superintendent. Uh, I'll be honest, when I was teaching in the classroom, it was always nice to have you know, your boss come in and say, how you doing, coach? <laughs> so, I'd like to thank my high school coach, Jerry Barnes. Um, he drug me all over the South State to freestyle tournaments, you know, starting at 9 o'clock in the morning, getting done at 9 o'clock at night, um, week after week after week. Um, he actually is, his son, uh, Chris Barnes, became a two-time All-American for Oklahoma State. And one of the things that he always did was he would talk about Oklahoma wrestling when we were driving all around. Uh, he's not with us here to, anymore, but I hope he's looking down from up above. I'd like to, oh, one of the things Coach Barnes always said to me, because I was pretty immature in high school, is the only thing that these guys have on you is maturity, and you're going to get them someday. So in high school, I never had a winning record. I was close, but never actually had a winning record. But then I went on and I wrestled for uh, John Kiever at Moore Park College. And, you know, I'm not real sure why I went on and wrestled in college. I just loved the sport. I was one of those guys that when I wrestled, I wrestled with a smile on my face. And a lot of people brought that up. It's just, why, why are you always smiling? <laughs> you know, win, winning or losing, I was always smiling. And John Kiever was a great coach, even though he never had any wrestling experience himself. One of the things I remember in junior college was uh, my sophomore year, I went 35 and five, it was in the state finals, and standing up on a podium, spotlight hits you, and the first thing that went through my head was, you know, what am I doing here? I want to thank Armand Brett for all the time and patience he's 
you know, put up with me. I had a lot of maturing to do in college, and he had my back the entire way. One of the things that uh, Coach Brett said to me after my last national tournament was, how does it feel you know, to be done with your collegiate career? And I had never really thought of that until that moment. And that's when I decided that, yeah, I would go on and coach. I got an assistant coaching job with Armin, and one of the first things he asked me to do was demonstrate a single leg, which was kind of my go-to move in college. And I demonstrated the move, and then he asked me to slow it down and explain what I was doing. And that's when I first realized that there's a big difference between coaching wrestling and actually wrestling. To break something down and show the technique is quite a bit different. Uh, I want to thank, again, the Orland Wrestling family for being here. Um, again, we're always going to be lifetime friends, and thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, inducted into 2023 California Wrestling Hall of Fame, Mr. Bob Reinhardt.